Okay, so if you've uh, been following some of the stuff I've been doing, you know that uh, CodeWalker is this tool that lets you uh, take any source code and create these really cool 3D and 2D maps. And the reason for that, the reason you might want to do that, is it makes it easier to understand how code works and see the logical progression of code. And there's all kinds of tools and stuff in here. And there's a 2D and a 3D version. And uh, what I want to show you today is basically this, but in the real world. So I'm in my kitchen right now, and uh, I'm going to take the same source code that's here on the computer, and I'm going to display it in the real world uh, like this. So when you first come into uh, CodeWalker in VR, um, it's in a it's in a big virtual environment, and you can move stuff around, and um, it, it's it's basically, you know, a little VR thing. But you can also toggle the backdrop off, and so now this ob object is in the real world with you. So I'm going to put this right here, and uh, that's a it's a little it's a little big. I've got some scaling uh, features, but we're just gonna we're just gonna scale it to set, set one of the other um, scale settings. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I can place this anywhere I want. Uh, I can take any part of it and move it. If I want to move this over here, uh, move this over here. Now, the reason I might want to do this is it's easier to look at a piece of code like this than it is on paper for a simple reason that, or on, not on paper, but on the screen, for the simple reason that your screen is this big, and you, you're not limited by that size issue here. Okay, so I'm going to get out of the way of my uh, robot uh, trash can there. There we go. So because of that, you're able to kind of mentally hook where things are in three-dimensional space. And it really, it, there's something that happens in your brain when you do that. And um, I think I've said before that I, I'm sure that people will come up with some studies and some explanations of this, but um, I am just completely blown away by how easy it is to remember the, pl the, the location of things in space. I guess that's just how the human brain works. So I could take any of these things, any of these functions here, and just upon seeing them, just going, okay, start is up there, update sizes. If I'm somewhere else, I can immediately remember where I saw that. Here's update sizes. It's right there. My brain makes these connections so much faster than it does in code, where it's just all of this is on one long sheet, and I'm just scrolling endlessly to get to different parts of it. So this lets you kind of step back and look at your code and think about how things play out. And, and so... If I was going to show this to a friend, um, I could connect to them through the um, through the portal, which is something we'll get to later. Uh, this allows you to share your your CodeWalker uh, maps with other people without sharing the source code with them. And so I could share this with them and say, "Look, here's my problem. Uh, when I when I do this uh, toggle detach thing here." Um, and it's doing this, and it goes to here, and it goes to here. For some reason, this this uh, progression all the way over to here is not working properly, and I wanted your feedback. Now, I could show this to them, and they could in turn, in their kitchen or living room or outside or office or, or even on the computer, they could say, oh, well, here's the problem. You've got this thing here, and it should be here instead of this return value here. Now, as they do that, that 3D uh, thing, and I don't, you can't really tell it, but that is totally in 3D. Um, that appears here in, in my world. And so I would see them working on, you know, as if they're in the room with me drawing these things out, even if they're actually on a computer. And so this allows me to, um, I, I can very easily see this being a, a new way to teach people about code, uh, teach people not only about how you know, code works for, for teaching programming, but teaching the new guy how your code works or explaining to someone before a check-in 
uh, exactly what's going on. So you could say, okay, here, I, I wrote a new calibration thing. Let's go through what it does. First, we, uh, first we have the tracker head inverse rotation. Then we do this other stuff. And at the very end, I say uh, uh, that I, I printed it out. Here it is, print out, calibrated in flare. And I can draw things here and I can say, this is a replacement for this and it replaces this thing up here. And I can draw all this stuff out and the other person can see it. Or I could save this and I can save this in with the data. So the next time I pull this up, if I'm trying to remember how my own code worked, how do I set this thing? How, how did I do this? That kind of stuff is, it, you, can, you can type it out, you can write it out, you can say, well, technically when you detach from this, then you do this and this, but that's a lot of writing. When you could pull up something like this and just see it and just see, you know, you, you, you would maybe have some, uh, you, you, so you can, you can organize these as kind of like a, a row of notes and you can say, all right, well, here's how the calibration system works. And you click that and it's going to show you your lines being drawn out as you hit playback. So that's where this is all going. Um, and, this is, and this, what you're seeing right here, is only technically what we call microscope in CodeWalker. There's also the 3D recon version, uh, and there's also retrace. And so we're gonna get to those later, but I just wanted to show you this is what the future holds for code in VR. And I honestly think this is, I think this is a huge paradigm shift. Just just being able to walk around it, I can tell you from my own experience, I'm already at the point where all of the code that I write, if I have a bug, the first thing I do is send it straight to the headset and just walk around and look at it because it makes a hell of a lot more sense like this than it ever did on paper now or, or on and in text. Now, that could be because I'm a visual person and I have always struggled with kind of conceptually uh, understanding how my code worked. But being able to see it like this, this changed everything. And um, this is exactly exactly where I wanted this to go. To go. But this is what I designed CodeWalker to do. I just had no idea at the time that I was doing it that VR would be this powerful. Uh, early versions of CodeWalker were, I did have a VR version, but I didn't have the augmented reality version. I didn't have the ability to walk around and see this in the room that I'm in. Uh, I only had it, you know, in, in VR where you move around and stuff. So this is um, <laughs> this is CodeWalker in, I guess, augmented reality, spatial computing. I think this is the promise of spatial computing is the ability to take uh, things that you normally um, see on the screen and, and pull them into the real world and then use whatever it is that's in the human brain automatically to understand where things are in in three-dimensional space use that to assist you in learning something so this is it can't wait to see what you guys uh, think of this in person i'm going to be rolling out some uh some free demos to people uh, if you're interested in getting in on the demo for this you're going to need the full version of code walker but if you want to try out just the demo of this without CodeWalker, so with some demo files, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to add you to the demo uh, thing group as long as long as we've got room for it. Uh, contact me and uh, leave a leave a note in the comments or send me a personal message and I'll get to it. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys think. But please let me know what you think of this and if you have any suggestions for other things I could I could think about adding in here, uh, other ways to to help people understand how code works. There's a million other applications for this than just code, obviously. Uh, but right now, uh, Code Walker is Code Walker. So it's, this is all about code. All right, that's it. Um, I apologize. I just realized I, I get real animated and I move my head around real fast. And that is probably difficult to watch. And I am sorry about that. But please let me know what you think. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.